Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to explain how to rank well on Google. Um, before we go through this little mock scenario, I think it's important to know that um, Google doesn't care about you or your business. What they care about is ad revenue. And for their ad revenue to grow or at least stay where it's at, they need as much traffic as possible. Now to get that traffic, they need to make sure that you and I know that Google is the best search engine. So anytime we want to find something, Google is where we go. We type it in on our phone or we go to, the, uh, go to Google on our computer, wherever, however we're going to Google it. Um, that we go to Google and not to Bing or one of their other competitors, okay? So the way, they, the way that they make sure that, that we go there as opposed to other places is that their, their search results are as relevant as possible. So if you're searching for black men's dress shoes, the first four, five, six, seven, eight pages of the Google results are all going to show black men's dress shoes and you're not seeing black women's dress shoes as, as the results because if you do that too many times you start going to their their competitor okay and they lose out on any ad revenue from you clicking on any of those ads that appear on the right hand side of the screen next to the search results or up at the very top there so um, that's what Google cares about now the Organic results are those 10 results that appear on each page right in the middle there with the blue titles and it's um, uh, it just over the white background, okay, right there in the middle. So um, what we wanna do is let's pretend for this scenario that you own a fish taco stand in San Diego and you wanna be that number one spot in the organic search results for the keyword San Diego fish tacos. So anytime somebody types in San Diego fish tacos on their phone or on their computer before they take off for their lunch break, you wanna be found at the, number, uh, at the number one spot there, okay? So in order to do that, um, in, uh, the way Google ranks you is based on incoming links is the, is the primary and the most effective way um, that they rank you, okay? So in this example, I've got, I'm going over three, three, three guys here, Joe, Bob, and Fred, and they're each gonna give you a link in this little scenario, okay? So Joe's a reporter, and he works for the local newspaper, and he gets an assignment to rate local taco stands. So he's heard about your taco stand, so he decides to um, go try yours out. He absolutely loves your fish tacos, and he writes about it in his article. Now in his article, his article gets printed in the, um, in the newspaper, but it also goes onto the newspaper's website. And in that article on the website, he provides a link uh, over to your website, okay? So you get a link there. The second link, is gonna come from Bob. So Bob's a food blogger, he does this as a hobby, and he goes around, he takes pictures of uh, the food he's eaten, and he, and he writes reviews of it on his personal blog. All right, so he's heard about your fish tacos also, so he comes over to your taco stand, he tries it out, they're awesome, and he writes a review about you. He posts a picture on his blog, he writes a little, blog, uh, a little blurb on his blog about you, and he gives you a link back to your website. All right, now the third guy is Fred. Now Fred's a small business owner and he's a member of the Chamber of Commerce and you met him at a Chamber of Commerce mixer uh, last week. At this mixer, you guys decided, hey, I've got a website. Um, you, Fred, you have a website. Why don't we give a link to each other on our own websites, okay, so that um, do what's called a link exchange. So you guys decide to do that and you set that up. So we've got three links now. We've got one from a newspaper, we've got one from a personal food blogger, um, and we've got another one from a small business owner. Now, Google, what they do is Google ranks, um, ranks each website with what they call a page rank. And that's your influence or um, your reputation, okay? So a newspaper is gonna have a higher reputation um, and a higher influence on the links that go out of that, okay? So that the local newspaper might have what's called a PR6, a page rank six, all right? Whereas the food blog, if it's a smaller personal blog that's not national, that's just local, then it might have like a, a PR3. And then a small business site, maybe it's only got one or two pages, it's a simple brochure site, maybe that's only a PR1, okay? So the reason I'm explaining this is because each one of these links that you got, Joe's, Joe's links, Bob's links, and then Fred's link, each one's weighted differently when Google puts it into their algorithm and spits out their results, okay? So let's just say, for example, that you wanna get into spots one, two, or three on the first page of Google. And for this example, we're just gonna use X, okay? So in order to rank well, and, and again, this is kind of, I, I, I don't know, um, uh, leave me a comment or ask some questions if you need uh, me to expand upon this at all, but basically, um, you, it might take you five links from a PR6 website or PR6 websites 
you know, so you might need five reviews in, in, in uh, newspapers in order to be ranked in the top three positions on that first page of Google for the keyword San Diego Fish Tacos. Um, to do the same thing using links from PR3 websites, page rank three websites, which is gonna be small blogs and maybe established businesses, um, that might take 75 links. I, you don't know, I don't know, um, Google's algorithm is a secret, okay? So, but we can kind of guesstimate by evaluating your competitors. Um, and then finally, a small business site that doesn't have much um, uh, content on the site, it's not a very big site, might only be a PR1. So with that, it might take a thousand of links from PR1 websites to equal, um, you know, five links from PR6 websites. All right, and the, the, but this is basically how it works. You know, if you got a link from a PR10 website, which is the best, that's some, that's going to be something like a, like a Wikipedia, um, not Wikipedia. Let's uh, let's say something like Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, one of those major, major multinational, international um, news agencies. That might be a PR10. Whereas a website I just set up yesterday that's only one page and has three words on it, it's going to be a PR1. You could have a hundred thousand links from those little PR1 sites, and they'll never equal a single link from a PR10 website. So. Um, this is kind of a guesstimation, but to kind of break it down for you, that's kind of the way it works. So the idea here is to get as many links as you can coming into your website that use the specific keyword San Diego Fish Tacos. And this, the reason I set this up is I want you to kind of understand who we're going after, okay? So um, it's going to be harder to get reporters to write about your website than it is to get food bloggers or um, or even other local, small local business people, okay? So, but um, these two are probably the easiest ones to go after, but the more links you build up that say San Diego Fish Tacos that point over to your website, the higher you're gonna rank in Google, all right? So um, if you have any other questions, want me to expand, please uh, leave them in the comments here on the video or uh, hit me up on the uh, Facebook page or whatever. So thanks and I'll talk to you soon.